I'm uh, still working on this little uh, pulse motor thing that goes on a shelf and uh, this is really for slider uh, this is your idea of using a battery holder for part of the support for one of these pulse motors and uh, th this is what you get at the dollar store and there's one that they get them for a dollar with these these little flashlights and the battery holder is AAA batteries in that thing you just take those out and you take the different parts out of it and it makes a really nifty support for one of these pulse motors and uh, the other thing about this that uh, I was testing was the bearing surface and uh, what you can use on a, on a needle and I tried to find sapphire bearings and I couldn't find anything I wanted to do at the price I, I wanted but I found this and these are these cover plates for your iPhone and it's very hard tempered glass which is harder um, than the um, steel of the needle and so I thought I would get some and try it and it makes a really good bearing surface one of these needle motors and I've just got a magnet at the top there holding this vertical and then there's a magnet underneath the um, underneath the glass uh, you put the little magnet underneath it and the needle runs on the glass and it's held in position by the little magnet underneath it and then uh, held upright by another magnet at the top and uh, it's too big really for a project like this but it makes a nice little place to put some sort of an art object and that's what I'm looking for is something I can put on the shelf that passes the wife test so she'll let me have it uh, sitting in her living room and if it's a cute enough little object I don't think she'll mind now the little pulse motor is out of one of these dancing flowers and Slider's done a gazillion of them so I have a bunch of us where you just take them apart they're not glued or anything you just take them apart and in there is the drive unit and the drive unit works quite nicely on a needle motor what we call a needle motor with the magnets and a lid jar lid and um, you can take this panel off and run it on, on a volt and a half quite nicely and my thought was to build up one of these and then you just have the the power source sitting in it like that if you wanted to run it on a power source and then somehow figure out a way to use the solar panel with the battery probably using a protection diode of some kind and have this uh, dual powered so that you had uh, the solar energy plus the battery and a 10-year AAA battery in conjunction with the solar panel and this thing might just run for at least many months if not years doing it that way I don't know but um, these little uh, pulse drive units don't use a whole lot of power and so I don't think I'm gonna really have to go super exotic but there's this thing still running after weeks and weeks and weeks on a 3 volt lithium coin cell inside a container on a shelf and I could get a square box that this will fit in I might have to trim it down a little bit but they've got these square plastic boxes that should uh, should work for this but this glass surface this super hard glass tempered glass um, actually has worked out quite well I was worried about it breaking or shattering because they said that's one of the things that uh, it's just like tempered glass in a car. If you hit it just right with a sharp object, they break into a million pieces. But so far, I have not had any sort of a problem with that. The needle is just running, uh, running on that glass. Anyway, that's my uh, progress on this little pulse motor idea of having something that uh, you put it on the shelf and leave it alone for a long, long time. Thanks for watching.